Good morning and welcome to day three of Maine Ideal Learning. My name is Angela Moore. I am an 11th grade teacher at George Ruth High School, and I'm excited to dig in today's work, Maine Idea. So I hope you have your paper and your pen and ready to do this activity. Here is your snapshot for today. What is the central idea of San Antonio's remarkable history? On yesterday, we read that passage. So what is the central idea of San Antonio's remarkable history. Okay, today we are going to read the poem, Falling Up. Falling Up by Shel Silverson. I tripped on my shoelace and I fell up, up to the rooftops, up over the town up past the treetops, up over the mountains, up where the colors blend into the sounds. But it got me so dizzy when I looked around. I got sick to my stomach and I threw down. All right, on to today's lesson. Life cycle of a butterfly, finding the main idea. Read the paragraph below, then determine the main idea and four supporting details. Life cycle of a butterfly. When you see a butterfly, what is the first thing you look at? Many people concentrate on the beautiful colors or patterns on the butterfly's wings. But remember that butterflies are not born with a but beautiful wings. In fact, they go through what it, are known as life cycles, meaning their lives follow different steps for them to become butterflies. Step one, the egg. Every butterfly begins its life as a tiny egg. Step two, the larva. You probably know this stage very well. Another name for the larva is caterpillar. The caterpillar hatches from the egg and immediately begins to eat things like leaves. Step three, the pupa. This is the stage where the caterpillar goes into what looks like a tight green sleeping bag. You may have seen one of these bags on a branch before. This is where the caterpillar goes before the final step. Step four, adult, also known as the beautiful butterfly. The butterfly emerges from the pupa and stretches out its wings before it takes off for flight. Okay, complete the figure below with the main idea and four supporting ideas from the text. What I would like for you to do is draw this diagram and place the main idea in the center and list four supporting details to support the main idea. I will give you a few minutes to do so.
Okay, let's see how well you did. <clears throat> The main idea, butterflies go through many life cycles before they can actually become butterflies. How many of you have that for your main idea? Good job. First supporting detail in step one, the butterfly is an egg. Second supporting detail in step two, the butterfly is the larva or caterpillar. Third supporting detail, in step three, the butterfly is in the pupa or the green casing. And step four, the butterfly is an adult insect with beautiful wings. So, Here's your exit ticket. Today's exit ticket is called the wall of learning. Write a note to yourself about the main idea and stick it on your refrigerator. That's right. Write a note to yourself about main idea and stick it on your refrigerator. Here's a reminder, the first person to email me on Thursday night, all of your answers from snapshots, practice activities, and exit tickets will receive a special prize in the mail. Again, my email address is aandrews at rvaschools.net. Thank you for working with me today on Main Idea. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a wonderful day and be safe.